How you doing, everybody? My name is Ben Fiorello. This is Kevin Martin. We're at our favorite place in the universe, the NJ High Rails in Patterson, New Jersey. And we just got a new present here. It's called the uh, Line Chief Camelback. Okay. Today we're going to take a look at it. Ben's going to go through the feature set. We're going to put it on the layout and give you some nice track pictures of the layout. And uh, Ben, want to take it apart and let's uh, take a look at it. I want to take it apart. I want to open the box. <laughs> <laughs> it's too new to take apart. So what you'll find in here is obviously the camel back, the uh, remote control, and uh, the instruction manual. Line Chief remote. It says the name of the engine on it, Lackawanna 1035. This is the front of the engine. You can see the boiler, all the details that come along with it. Size number 1035. The rear of the rear. You'll see the firebox coming up. Front's nicely packed. Have to make sure we take out all the packing materials so we can run it nicely on the railroad. And of course, the smoke pack. I've placed the uh, Camelback on the track, and you'll notice uh, it's making a beeping sound that it thinks it's a computer right now. So uh, that's normal. What it'll do is beep on the track until it syncs up with the remote. Uh, the remote, I've placed uh, three AAA batteries in, and there's an on off switch on the side of the remote. When you turn the remote on, Camelback syncs up and it's ready to go. Uh, the remote's very simple. It has a reverse and a forward. So if you want to uh, make it go forward, you turn it to forward. Okay. If you want it to go in reverse, turn it to reverse. It's the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> so Ben, Camelbacks were out. What kind of use were they on real railroads? Um, the Camelback was basically uh, used by most of the, the Northeastern Railroads. Uh, the Northeastern Railroads hold uh, a lot of anthracite coal. Anthracite coal is uh, hotter, slower burning coal. So they need, needed something to uh, burn it uh, more efficiently. So this guy by the name of Wooten invented this firebox, called the Wooten Firebox, of course. And uh, it was a lot bigger than a normal firebox. If you look at the back of the Camelback here, the whole back of the Camelback is the firebox. Keb didn't fit over the firebox and still be able to fit through tunnels and whatever. Um, the Camelback was invented before the, they were really using trailing trucks or knew how to use trailing trucks. So uh, they put the cab right over the drive wheels. Now, that wasn't too good. The engineer and the fireman are sitting right on top of the boiler. Uh, a little hot sitting on top of the boiler. And also if uh, they threw a rod, the rod would come right through the cab, and there's no more engineer or fireman. Uh, another bad thing about it was to uh, put the coal in the firebox, a crew member had to be in the back, sitting on the tender, shoveling coal in, into the firebox. Now in the winter when it's snowing and during, the, during the rainstorms or whatever, he's just out in the open. Uh, not too many people like doing that, so the, the Camelback wasn't a big hit with the crews. Um, one thing about the Camelback is, uh, the Reading Railroad had uh, hundreds of Camelbacks in all different wheel configurations. The Lionel version here is a 460 wheel configuration. Um, this was the most common Camelback, but there were 440s, 040s, four, uh, you know, there, was a, there was hundreds of different Camelbacks. The biggest Camelback was on the Erie Railroad, and that was uh, an 0880, and they used that basically to, to use push a service up the, up the mountains. But the Camelback on the bottom has uh, three switches. Uh, on this side of the, the, the uh, drive wheels, there's a switch that says remote or transformer. So that enables you to either use the Lionel Lion Chief remote or put it in transformer mode and then just run it conventional like uh, any, any post-war Lionel or whatever you had. Um, on the other side, there's two more switches. Okay? One of those switches is to turn the smoke on and off, and the other switch is to turn the, the chuff on and off. So they're just little slide switches un underneath the body. So Ben, you talked about the switches under the camera back itself and you showed us where the, those are. How about the remote? How easy is this remote to configure the engine and how easy is it to use? Even you could use this remote. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> 990 is a little too difficult for me at times. <laughs> this remote is the easiest thing in the world. Like I said before, there's a forward, which moves the engine forward. There's a reverse, which moves the engine back. And then 
underneath the throttle is three buttons. The middle button is for the crew talk. Dispatcher here, please hold. Over. Copy that. Waiting for your signal. Now. Okay. This button has two functions. The first function is the whistle. And the other function is the uh, rear coupler on the camera back. If you give it a couple of uh, things, it opens the rear coupler. The other button. Now, if, uh, if the Lion Chief engine had a front coupler, this would also control the front coupler, but since the Camelback doesn't have the front coupler, this button is useless on, on this one. But it does have the belt on this. Belt. And the belt... The bell's a toggle. Press it once, the bell will ring until you press the button again. Okay? And that's the whole remote. There's, there's really nothing to it. It's great. It's a great little engine. So Ben, this is a perfect gift for uh, somebody getting into the hobby or a seasons in. This is a you, perfect right? gift for me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or anybody else. This could be a perfect gift for anybody. I mean, it's, a, it's an inexpensive engine, but it, it has a lot of detail on it. It's all die-cast metal. The, the tender it has all the rivet detail of die-cast metal. It's a, an awesome little engine. Okay, uh, we're going to demonstrate the engine now and show you how, how easy it is to use and uh, show you show the uh, cattle back in action. And uh, to prove my point that this is such a simple remote, I'm going to hand it over to Kevin and show you that even Kevin can make this work. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Really appreciate that. As Ben said, we're going to put the thing in forward by just twisting the knob and we're going to take a little bit of pictures of it going forward for you. service, it was using freight service, we are using regular passenger service, so uh, you could use this engine for any kind of concept you want on, on your, your home layout. Um, it's a nice little engine, it's easy to use, and it's a, a really economical buy. Okay. I'd like to thank Lionel for letting us borrow this engine and letting us have an opportunity to review it for you all. Thanks a lot. Thanks guys.